the stove like the chef in Houston. Look, and it's not about the flip, man. You want the real bread, dog? It's all about your weight. I want game. some old school shit. It's the drop top portion. You couldn't walk a mile off in my Air Force. And you ain't seen what I seen. I can get a hundred thousand in these Sean John jeans. I went from old school shit. It's the drop top portion. You couldn't walk a mile off in my Air Force. And you ain't did what I did Where you from, where I'm from You gotta get it how you live I went from old school shit To drop top horses You couldn't walk a mile off In my Air Force A-Game Sports Talk Radio Down here on this Monday in the Player Cave Chilling down here with the homie Corey C.L. Crockett And the motherfucking Smokey Goddamn D Right, right Y'all down here eating up all my motherfucking snacks and shit, man I ain't tell y'all to get in on that shit like that, man What the hell wrong with Only Kia man? Only Kia I ain't even going to detail how my I ain't never even seen a bag that big <laughs> right. Right, man. He got that Sam's fight club, motherfucker. Got the, He got he the got fight party club. chips Man, he got the wholesale oh, chips and He, man, made, mother, he mother, wanna get rid of this shit while hey, he talking. Hey, at the same time I got a big ass bag of peanuts from motherfucking Sam's club These motherfuckers didn't fuck my shit up, man them No, 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 no I'm not, I'm not in that shit He's got a party I'm talking to you, man You wanna know You was at a family barbecue Motherfucker survival pack, You was at a family barbecue my motherfucking survival pack but we down here chilling in the player cave. Man. I want the gummy worms. I, I appreciate the players. Only oh, two nah. more weeks. Hey, the gummy worms. I, I'm gonna try to get some of those today. Man. Yeah, yeah. We'll get a big ass thing. Football only two more man. weeks. Get your ass out of here. But Joe, we down here chilling in the player cave on this Monday, man. Bringing this sports show. You know, we down here. We just chilling. Uh, this dude Stanton. for the Florida Marlins, <laughs> Miami Marlins, whatever the hell you want to call them. Yeah, Miami Marlins. And Man, he he on pace to do sixty three. Yeah, and they still got a, a what little over a month to go. Mm. I think it's possible. I don't know that. I, I think I, it's possible. I, I'm gonna make a prediction now. He go end up with at least sixty seven. What do you got now? Uh, how many you got now? He got fifty. I man, ain't he had seventeen. He had seventeen already in this month. What in August? Yeah, and August ain't even over with. Right, so you got what a couple more days with that? Or like three, four more days. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and then it's like he been hitting two damn near a game. At least that's what it felt like. Damn, two a game. That's what it been shitting well, last, last month. He did. <laughs> damn, dude been going crazy, and we talking about shitting the dirt. He putting that shit on the boards. Man, so I mean, I hope, hope he do it. I'm, I'm, I'm with him. him. I hope he do it for real. Cause Judge is, I don't know what happened, but I know what the happened. Cat over so. there in New York. Yeah, Judge, and you know what happened to him? That. <laughs> home run derby Them dudes No nah, I'm turning the noodles When they come back From off that shit Unless you Mar McGuire Shout out to Mar McGuire Juice man <laughs> How you call the juice man? He is He original juice so, man So Joe I'm gonna I'm I'm Slash I'm snitch I'm gonna I'm I'm do this Just this one time you know, I'm a White Sox fan You oh, know we don't shit. talk Cubs But I'm gonna I'm give you a chance Joe how, how your Cubs been doing man You know what We mediocre as hell And I'm gonna tell you one you reason why You think they can do it again Um you know, baseball, like you said, with sports, is about momentum. And coming up, like, they should have took advantage of that road trip they just came off of with Philly and um, both other teams that lost to Philly and um, the two worst teams in Major League, and they just went 3-3, three and three, knowing the fuck they should have went 3-3. Three and three. Should at least been 4-2 or, or at least 5-1 and because you got Pittsburgh tonight on their first series. Then the next series, I, I forget who it is, but you got all divisional teams. They next out of 28 games, is like 21 of them is against – People in the NL, mm-hmm. so oh they got the Braves. You know they still kind of in the wild card hunt, even though we're in division leader. But you know what's really been our problem? Mm-hmm. Us. And I'm gonna tell you what the main problem is. If it ain't the star pitching one game, it's the fucking bullpen. They blew so many 
games and I argue with sports dummies all the time <laughs> about <laughs> you the said reading. sports dummy before Man, me, I, I had to be because they like, oh yeah, we still got one of the best ERA states. Do you? I'm like, yeah. Do y'all watch the game? Do you know how many games they didn't came in? We up three, four runs going into the eighth or ninth inning, and they blew games. You're not supposed to do that. Dang you can't man. do that in baseball. Now, flip side, on the White Sox, White Sox got some hits. I done seen them, especially since they didn't trade off Frazier and all them guys. Man, them guys, some dog, but they pitching suck. Get them boys good year, too. They get that pitching going. I'm telling you, White Sox going to be all right. But team I'm not sold on yet is the Dodgers. Dodgers should have been one of the at least one one World Series because they didn't have a team, nice team last what four five years when them in San Francisco was going back and forth and San and San Francisco end up getting there and winning well, it all. What they gonna end up with one hundred eleven wins, right? They talking about they on a pace to break the what's the name's record? Who was that? The Marlins and remember they uh, the, the Mariners? Remember them do one like one hundred nineteen games and lost in like the second round. Mm-hmm. So it ain't about my thing is baseball. Baseball in the last about twenty years. Most of the teams that won the World Series, then wild card teams. Cubs like one of the first teams in many years to actually start off baseball and dominate it and won it all. And the Cubs won like 103 games. I think they claimed it that year. You know, man, it was just they were destined, man. And once they picked up Big Smoke, Chapman, uh, uh, Chapman, uh, uh, what's his name, Chapman. It was on. What about that relief pitcher y'all got? Or the Davis? Uh, pitcher y'all got from uh, Kansas Can't see. Davis. Guess what happened? He don't get a chance because these motherfuckers give up the lead. So now you playing from behind. You see what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Cubs have gave up in the first two innings the most runs in baseball. So so are they are they built to make another run? I'm going to tell you like this. And I'm going to tell you what really saved us last year. Because it, we still got a lot of baseball to play. Exactly. So, you know, again, it's about momentum. Cubs, best get to going, they're going to be dangerous. Diamondbacks, get they, they, they best get to so going. So, what's your prediction? Another championship? Or close to. But if that's if they win the division. Because, like I said, they've been there. Another team, and I was just telling my little homie, Lonnie, shout out to Lonnie. I say, man, team that's going to be scary going to the playoff if, you know, Cubs, if the Cubs make it. I still think the best will come alive. Colorado and the Diamondbacks. You know why? Because them fuckers can hit. Okay. And you, like the Cubs, they think, well, think about it. They been they were down there in every series. Came back, not self, what, the San Francisco series? They came back against the Dodgers. They cleaned their ass up. Like, it's like they, your best got to come alive at some point. And okay. if them best come alive, like the Diamondbacks, from like one to seven, them fuckers stack. We're going to see. So, we're going to see. So, so it's I'm, up in there. We're going we gonna to see. So, so. He don't and want to talk no more because it ain't about them he white socks. The I ain't got much to talk about it, man. I, I'm just saying, give us a year or two. That's all I'm Let saying. me ask you this. I'm going to ask you a question about your white socks. Do you think them getting rid of Chris Sale is a good good, good thing compared to how, even though they record's bad, but how they've been performing? Because they've been in a lot of when, games. When, when, I, when, the, when the, the whole trade first went down, you was real mad. I was, I was upset because that was your ace in the hole. He was young. You know what I'm saying? He still got a lot of time left to mature and everything else. But when I started reading, like, certain things and they were saying, like, he was starting to become a problem in the organization, you know, and then when he cut up the jerseys and all that because he didn't want to wear the jersey, I'm like, come on now. That's not the case now. Maybe that's an ego thing. You get what I'm saying? Oh, that's a quick way to get, help him get his ass up out of there. Exactly. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So when they traded him off and they got, all like, all these picks to shit. build up their farm, I was like, Okay, I see the route that they're going in now. Makes sense now. Yeah, you, you know what, what route saying. it is. You know we don't want to admit it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Sox well, fan if, too. If you're going to blow it up, blow it up. I you mean, know, Epstein so, has to come and do the same thing. I mean, that's why I say a year or two, let's start saying, okay, we get looking for pitching. playoffs. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Maybe after that third year, if they're doing good and make the playoffs, we can start thinking. Check. It's the same process that the Cubs went through. You get what I'm saying? Just, I see, we did I it. see he gave what us, it is. We had a five-year plan. We actually did it in like three to four. Got to so, build through that farm system. And they got some good young prospects through that farm system that's going to get a shot to see if they Hopefully they, they pan number. out. You you like, the only thing I say they missing right now is, is pitching. They got hit. Like, they got the pitching. They, they, they need closers. They need closers. Yeah. Man. I mean, a lot of games I watched them since I break, man, they've been in a lot of games. Like you said, closing for this pitch starting off, so they coming back from behind. 
That's been the Cubs problem all year. And I've been arguing with Diddy. Shout out to Diddy. Think he know everything. <laughs> Mike. I, <laughs> Jab turkey. I told him it may. It's too early. Jab I say, turkey of all time. Jab he the turkey. Goat of jab turkey. Man, man, you know what I told him? I was telling him and Rico Dale. Man, it's too early to calm down. I'm like, okay, it's May. About mid May, I was talking shit. I'm like, listen, I know that. I know my team. I watch them very, very well. We ain't got the same swag as we did last year. The hidden, the hidden was down at the I same just, time, but it's been game. But we losing it, three one, one just zip. Let it play out. Just let it play out. To dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you enjoyed yourself though, man? Of course. Come All back, the time. You know, come back on the show? Uh, yeah, especially when football season comes. I'm going to take my knee first. <laughs> take gonna, my knee first. We're going to take a picture of that, man. Take, take my knee. Because he gonna, he <laughs> pulled, if I don't go to the Falcons game, I'm definitely over here. I'm going to take my knee. I'm going to get up and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch football. You all right, you all right Smokey D? Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to want you know my goddamn chips. You got any shout outs you want to do? No, man. Just shout outs out, baby. My eyes, man. They've been talking to Mike today. That's to be a lie. <laughs> yeah, the shout outs you want to do? Uh, of course saying? you know I do. So all all do shout outs. And the man. words key out all the sports dummies. Now I'm just talking shit. Now shout out to everybody, man, that you know tuned in, watched us, you know, for a little album and a half. Kicking with Black Hippie. You know, got it in, you know. So when you ever get a chance, man, you know, if you want to, if you really about that life of talking sports, come in, check them out, man. Come sit down, have a conversation, you know. Have some fun, man. Drink a brew. Talk shit. Always. Y'all be cool out there, man. This has been another Bring Your A-Game Sports Talk radio podcast down here in the Player Cave. I have been your host, the Black Hippie. Hope y'all enjoy. Holla, y'all. Be cool.